This video is about truncating decimals. Now you should already be comfortable with rounding decimals, so pause the video and have a go at all of question one first, because that's going to help us compare truncating to something you already know. Here's what you should have got. That number rounds to 3.9 to one decimal place. It rounds to 3.87 to two decimal places, it rounds to 3.871 to three decimal places, 3.8710 to four decimal places, don't forget that zero there, and finally it rounds to 3.87096 to five decimal places. If you got any of those wrong or you need a bit more practice, go back to topic N15A part one. Now, let's get into truncating decimals. Truncating is actually easier than rounding. The word truncate means cut short in everyday English. And in fact, that's exactly what we're going to do here. To truncate 3.870962 to one decimal place, we simply cut off all of the digits after the first decimal place, like this. And that leaves us with 3.8. To truncate this number to two decimal places for part B now, we simply cut off all the digits after the second decimal place. So that's everything from the zero onwards. And we're left with 3.87. Pause the video and have a go at truncating this decimal to three, four and five decimal places. For part C, you should have got 3.870 simply by cutting off all the digits after the third decimal place. For part D then, you should have got 3.8709. And finally, for part E, by cutting off anything after the fifth decimal place, you should have got 3.87096. I just want to make a couple of observations. Sometimes when you round a number to a given number of decimal places and truncate a number to the same number of decimal places, you get the same answer. For example, if you look at rounding to two decimal places or truncating to two decimal places, you'll see that we end up with the same thing, 3.87. Now that's actually because the digit in the third decimal place is less than a five. So in those cases, we simply discard all the subsequent digits to get our rounded answer, which gives you the same thing as truncation. However, in some other cases like the first one, we get different answers. So just to be clear, this number to the nearest tenth is 3.9. It's closer to 3.9 than 3.8. So if we care about that, we should use rounding. However, if we don't care about getting what's closest and we just want to do something that's easy, we can use truncation, simply discard all the digits. And in this case, we'd get 3.8. Now we can see why we have different answers when rounding and truncating to one decimal place in this example by looking at the digit in the next place value column along. So in the second decimal place, that's the hundredths column. And you'll see that we've got a seven in there. Now, because that is greater than or equal to five, that would mean we normally round the previous digit up. So that's why it becomes 3.9 when we round it to one decimal place but because when we truncate, we simply discard all of the digits from there onwards, we end up with 3.8 for truncation. Before we finish, it would be a good idea for you to pause the video and look carefully at the number to see why we get different answers in C and D, but the same answer in E. 